I traveled 3,000 miles just for this. Let's go. All this way for a Meyer. Let's see if they've got anything in store. Literally, in the store. Let's go. 3,000 miles to get myself to Meyer. Left Arizona where it's warm to go to Chicago where it's cold. Brilliant. We hit the jackpot. Will it worth the trip, I think? Six? Six of those Charizard UPCs? Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff going on. Wow. Wow. Five packs in here, 20 bucks. Seven packs in here, 22.50. We're gonna grab one of those, okay? Oh my gosh. So much Silver Tempest. May as well get a couple sleeves. Brilliant. Oh my goodness. Look what was hiding in the back. The Mega Mystery Power Box. Now, I'm not gonna do it, even though there's a bunch of them, because I know they cost a lot and the risk is huge. The reward could be great, but so unlikely. But I can't believe they have them. That is awesome. And then for sports, but we don't care about sports. Pokemon, that's where it's at. I'll see you back at the studio after a long flight. And after 3,539 miles, we are back in the studio with our Meyer bag here and going to be opening up what we ended up getting at that Meyer store so very far away. What do we have? Uh, we have this receipt, um, <laughs> little collection box here. Seven booster packs inside, three promo cards, and more, like stickers. Sorry, this bag's making so much noise. And five Silver Tempest sleeved booster packs. Uh, these three my daughter picked out, so I'm gonna have to make sure those get special treatment in our little review here. We're gonna save those to the end because we haven't opened a lot of Silver Tempest. We have opened this before, but the reason we picked it up, cheap, $22.48. This thing was retailing originally for $30. So 22 bucks for seven packs, that is pretty good, considering an ETB is 40 bucks, eight packs? Let me get this open, and let's cut to the fun. Okay, so here it is, and I seriously have forgotten what came in this. I think it came out with Brilliant Stars. Um, that's why you got the Arceus on there and all that. Um, our three promos, we've seen these things before. And man, the way they're put in here just probably butchers the quality. And that big coin there, which is neat. Um, just kind of something different there. I think that was the first time they did the white coin. And I love the way they did it. Just boom, seven packs right here. Nice and easy. And then underneath are stickers and such. Can I get this out? And a little notebook, stuff like that. Whatever. Let's get this out of here. Oh, hey, real quick, side thought. Um, this right here, when I got back from my trip, uh, I really only went to visit family. I didn't go to just get this simple stuff, but when you're there, you may as well hunt, because hey, that's a big trip to be hunting Pokemon cards. Um, I got this in the mail, Legendary Lee. If you guys haven't watched his channel, check it out. He is so close to 5,000 subscribers. If you could subscribe to him, just because he's been so good to the community, he's given me personal advice on my channel, uh, which I super appreciate. Uh, he did a little giveaway, and it was like to, I don't know, random people that entered for his giveaway. It may still be available, because it's for the holiday season and everything, just to get a signed card, and and ultra rare or better so this is the one i ended up getting and it was really cool to just have that little extra that i won and uh very cool little shout out to him i apologize for any background noise if you're hearing it uh, i don't know how well it's picked up on the microphone but i know on my phones here that are recording uh, it's super loud i got some kids crying apparently it's a tough day we have vivid 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 i did not remember that being so prevalent three vivids uh two brilliant stars hey there we go Nice little code card for you. Uh, Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to take it slightly different order. I like Brilliant Stars at the end. I just think it's cool. Let's do the Fusion first. Still looking for anything good from Fusion Strike. That's really where I'm at. Anything good. Because I don't think I've gotten a really hot pull from Fusion Strike ever. So we'll have to take a look here. Seven packs. Let's try to fly a little bit just because it's kind of annoying. 
to go through all these that everybody has seen a bajillion times. So let's move a little quick on this stuff here. Left key, pan sage, sizzlepeed. No, no, no rare. That's fine. That's fine. Because we're on to vivid voltage. Everybody knows what special rainbow Pikachu they're looking for in here. I don't really know the other ones that you can get. Um, just because Vivid came out before I got back into it. So I wasn't super familiar with the set. And it's only just been whatever's included in different packages like this. I never got a booster box or, you know, three-pack blisters or anything like that. So uh, just whatever we find, we can be excited about. And maybe, maybe we'll just get a nice pull. Oh, like a Rayquaza. Amazing rare. I forgot about these. Sweet. Okay, nothing on the rare spot. But we did get an amazing rare. I totally forgot that they have amazing rares in this set so cool that's a nice hit out of the seven boosters we do have a hit so far uh it'd be nice to see what maybe two since we have that trainer gallery option three would be cool um just because you know it's it's slightly less than an etb so you can't expect a whole lot but uh, it would just be nice to, to eat a little something sorry just trying to organize here Cramorant. see that Charmeleon for the reverse hollow and no hollow rare there. Nothing on the main hit spot so far out of our three packs. But we do have another vivid to go. Evolving skies and two brilliant stars to test our luck. And don't forget, we are opening some silver tempest today. So four to the front. And yeah, we're going to fly through these. As long as I can keep my piles organized over here. Milstery, Skidoo, Drillbur, Eevee for the Reverse Hollow. Oh my goodness, we've got a little something. We've got a little something. A Full Art Drampion V. All right. A Full Art is a good hit. That's two hits out of Vivid alone in those three packs. Nice. Order's not too bad. Condition looked a little funky when I was flipping those around, but actually, on this one, seems like we're okay. Uh, not that I'm going to take a Full Art and go off and grade or anything, but, you know, it's just good to know that you have a quality card. Considering the quality control hasn't been amazing over the Pokemon set up there. There we are there. We have Evolving Skies. So many high value cards in this set. And I have yet to pull one that's of any note. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see. You never know. You never know. This one pack could be a one pack wonder. And getting us something fantastical. Toy Catcher and oh, we do have a Silver. Oh, look at that, Aroma Lady, Full Art Trainer, that is a nice hit, because Full Art Trainers are highly sought after, very collectible. Excellent, I don't think I've pulled this one. Beautiful artwork, really great. Oh my gosh, that's two amazing hits after that amazing rare. Um, we have two brilliant stars. You know what? I never feel like the Charizard artwork is going to give us the big pull, so I'm going to set that up as second to last, leaving us at least a shot at some last pack luck, if the theory of the pack artwork matters at all, which I'm pretty sure it does not, so <laughs> I think, think I'm just making it up as I go. Uh, let's take those four to the front, flip it around, and see what we got. We do have the Trainer Gallery spot on these being Brilliant Stars. Uh, this was our introduction to the Trainer Gallery here in the U.S., so uh, very cool to have that opportunity. Nothing on this one here. Oh my gosh, another silver border, and it's a V. Oh, the Arceus Full Art V. This is a pretty fire box here. Now, was it worth going 3,539 miles for it? Um, no, that's not why I went, but since I did go and get this box on discount, holy smokes, we are pulling some heat, and we haven't even gotten to the Silver Tempest. That is fantastic. Code card for you. And let's see if we can get one last pack luck out of this box. That is a pretty fire box, I gotta say. Uh, Brilliant Stars here to wrap it up on that Arceus box. That was kind of weird. It wasn't quite the tin, a little bit more. Very interesting. All right, no trainer gallery there, Turtwig. And okay, it had to level out at some point. But man, we've got some hits there. And we've got a few more hits, hopefully, to go here. So let me just reset a little bit. There they are, Silver Tempest. Let's get into these. Here we are. We have five. Uh, just went a little random. One of each pack artwork, and then an extra Lugia. Go in on the Lugia. Uh, these last three on the back end, that's what my daughter picked out, so I kind of had to. Uh, let's see here what we got going on. 
these are the first sleeved blister packs I've done of Silver Tempest. In fact, I've only opened eight packs. Here, we're adding another five. So, I've opened very few of Silver Tempest. Why? Well, been busy. A lot of things going on. But, in that first opening, I did pull the All Art Lugia on that ETV. I can't believe that came up. It was absolutely mind-blowing. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. After you subscribe, like, and hit the bell on this channel here right now because you want to be involved in all the future openings, especially when I'm pulling heat like today and getting all the good stuff here. Hisui and Lillian, it is a Rivers Hollow Rare and a nothing on that Zorora, Zorora, Zorora. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. Keeping it going here. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a hit out of here. Uh, I don't do a lot of testing on like a booster box versus like 36 of the blister packs here, but or sleeve boosters, whatever. I don't do anything like that uh, on this channel at this time. It costs a little too much to make that happen easily. Uh, but let's see if just these five packs have some luck for us anyhow. Uh, I don't know the ratio is what I was getting to, I guess. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Somebody guessed. Fungus. Bampy and nothing. Oh no. Those are the two I picked. Let's see what we can do here on these last three packs. Did our luck run out today already? Is that what happened? We got a really good box. So these overpriced booster packs, yes, overpriced. They were $4.99. The only reason I did it was for you, Team V. I did it for you. I gotta say, it was like, you know what? For the sake of the channel, let's just spend a little extra on these when I really shouldn't have. Um, and, you know, get a few to showcase, to share, to hang out and have a good time pulling some cards with y'all. So hit that like and subscribe and support of the channel. Uh, oh my gosh, nothing. <laughs> Come on. Come on, we gotta get something out of here. Five packs? Just one? One decent hit ought to do it. Uh, no trainer gallery? What? No trainer gallery? On Silver Tempest, which has a trainer gallery? Ah, oh, man. Let's, let's see if we can get a hit. Maybe there's a trainer gallery out there. Out there? In here, rather. <laughs> we know they're out there. Are they in here is the question. Um, let's see if we can get a hit today out of Silver Tempest. Or did I get all my luck in that one ETB? Onita, Serena, and a hollow Articuno. Not gonna do it for me there. The hollow is not making it happen. Do we have last pack luck on this particular booster? Hard to say. Now if I have to go off of ETBs versus sleeve, I'm gonna say ETB is gonna know it because my only experience is between the two here. Let's see here. Last pack luck. Can we make it happen? It's really not up to us. It's already been done, but we are opening up for your viewing pleasure. And let's see what we can do here, Team V. Like, subscribe. No trainer gallery today at all. Oh my gosh, nothing. Oh, okay, another hollow. Yikes. Silver Tempest was a bust. However, we did nail it on that other pack there. I mean, three full arts. That's pretty crazy in seven packs. You, you really can't, you can't predict that. So I think all in all, in the end, we actually had some pretty good pulls for what it was. And thank you for taking that crazy long journey with me just to come back here and open some fun cards. I'll see you next time.